So I'm in the mood to burn some CDs because, uh, yes, I am that old. Name Sami, welcome to that system error. You know, sometimes you go down like some sort of internet rabbit hole and then you discover new music at like 1.30 a.m. and then you gotta have that album just right now. Um, so I personally turn to iTunes, buy it, listen to it roughly until like 3 a.m. and then wake up the next morning with a music hangover, which is my favorite and frankly only kind of hangover. While MP3 has the advantage of me being able to just directly put it on my iPod, because yes, I also still use that. It also means I don't have a physical CD to take, you know, in my car, for example, or down here. Listen, I was born in a time where like the CD was the fucking future and I'm not ready to let go of that future. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, some music I only own digitally, others I own on vinyl and I'm not gonna go into that. Love CDs. Um, so we're gonna burn some, because I know how to do that, and I don't have many skills in life, so I think I should make use of this one. And then I'm gonna doodle on them, do some artsy stuff, because that is my only other talent, actually. And I have this case, uh, you know, where you can like uh, conveniently flip through, ignore, ignore the current, ignore the current <coughs> art, ignore that. In all honesty, the last few weeks, especially in my personal life, have been, um, rocky would be an understatement, a bit shit. They've been a bit shit. Honestly, I just need to sit here and doodle on some nostalgic feeling stuff, to be honest. Um, also, yes, I really do want to be like Michael Sarah and Nick and Nora's playlist. But we're gonna tackle that today. I do have some empty CDs that we're gonna burn some digital data on. Got those years ago and they're all sort of like this one, you know, like all white, which is uh, perfect for our purposes. But I do also have some in here that I already burned and that I didn't really do a good job of decorating, I think. Also brought some Sharpies. The most overrated pen in all of human history, might I add. Like, America, why? It... I feel like I could just stop that question there. Why is it everywhere? Why is there like a big batch of this fucking thing on like the Tonight Show? Surely there's gotta be like other affordable uh, pens that you know, you can give your kid to like ruin your fucking house with. In case these let me down, I think these are gonna work because you know, these white CDs, I think they're specially made so you can use like pretty much everything on them, not just like CD specific uh, pens. So got this um, very, very, very old IKEA pencil. Well, I fucking hate this beauty guru moment. We're all set, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna light Winter Wonder because I'm in desperate need of just cozy vibes. Is that good? Yeah, I guess that works. I think I'm gonna start with Danger Kids. Not, not my finest work. <laughs> it's Linkin Park. But like more aggressive. Their first album collapsed and the second one blacklist. I managed apparently to put both on one CD which is great, convenient. The cover art for collapse is pretty much all blue so I'm pretty sure that's why I went with blue but like this, this font ain't, ain't it. Like come on. Think modern glitchy type thing. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna put on some music, maybe a podcast, I don't know, and then just.
was this one? Two album titles, Danger Kids, and some lyrics, and then just some scribbling and glitchy looking parts. I think because of the black and the blue, it really is giving child in the early 2000s found pens and just went haywire. I had fun. But for now, I'm gonna take a break, possibly bake some banana bread, and uh, then I'll see you back here again tomorrow. And we're gonna actually burn some CDs. Everybody say, yeah, yeah, now he's gone Banana bread was a success. Okay, so we got Helix by Crystal Lake, Open Road by Donovan, Mother by In This Moment, and Cosmos Factory by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Might add a little bit to this ACDC Back in Black. I just hope I didn't mix up the titles and the CDs because uh, that would be bad. I have like a stereo back there, so I could just check it before I start drawing on them. But you know, it might be one of those days where I'm just too lazy to make this trip. Um, so Helix by Crystal Lake, Japanese metalcore band. Fucking great album. I had tickets to see them live this year, but you know, after two years of basically not setting a foot outside the door and I need to see this band before I die. 2022 is off to a great start, I'm sure you've all noticed. Anyways, album cover is mostly like a bluish gray, a little bit of red in there. But it's called Helix, you know, maybe I'll draw a Helix. <laughs> When you're an artist and a perfectionist, you always gotta ask yourself, is that line straight enough? Because it's never gonna be 100% straight. The question is more so, will it bother me every time I look at it in the future? Or will it be alright? Um, that is the level that I strive to get to. Open Road by Donovan. I would uh, fight people over this album, just in case anyone would ever want to fight about this. Pretty interesting, actually. I think um, he like recorded this with a friend of his and they were supposed to be like a band called Open Road, but that didn't go anywhere, so it was just released as like Donovan, the Open Road album. Psychedelic folk. Mostly I tried to get this on vinyl and it was nowhere to be found definitely need a CD of this at least So we're gonna do that. It's mostly brown the album cover and you know, like the folk 70s type vibe of this. I think that works. Maybe I'll add a little bit of orange Art Nouveau type font Is it ironic that one of my New Year's resolutions for 2022 is more silence? Frankly, my 2021 was shit. Big steaming pile of just straight up shit. <laughs> um, both on like a pandemic and on a personal level. What's the number one most beloved coping mechanism? Uh, pretend things aren't happening. And that's what I resorted to. <laughs> and I just tried to draw out my thoughts on everything. I kind of got stuck in like a music rot or slump or something in 2021 really got into podcasts like only since like the start of the pandemic I didn't listen to podcasts before and I wouldn't say I'm like a big podcast fan even but like 2021 and the overall mood that I was in was just like um, I always needed to have something on 
it was more so I got into the habit of just always having something on. Um, like, whenever silence did occur, it didn't actually bother me, but like, I don't know. I just got so used to just putting on whatever. And I listened, as a result of that, to a lot of things that I didn't want to listen to, really. Information, especially through audio, sticks to my brain a lot, and now I have a lot of information that I did not want. I also watched a lot of commentary YouTube, and um, let me tell you, I could have lived a very happy and peaceful life not knowing about some of the uh, stuff e-boys are up to on TikTok, because I don't even have TikTok, um, or the existence of Trisha Paytas. Can't delete that from my brain. So I don't need any more of that to pile on to here in 2022. Uh, so I gotta stop. I definitely gotta stop. Cosmos Factory by CCR. Love CCR. I grew up on the countryside and although I wouldn't really identify as a country girl, I just don't think that cotton fields would hit as hard if you were gonna listen to it, you know, in a skyscraper in New York looking over the city. I don't think that's the vibe here. Also got Willy and the Poor Boys on vinyl. But I thought Cosmos Factory would be cooler, at least for this video, because the album art is more colorful. So I'm thinking we're doing like a colorful 70s type thing. You'll never die. So I think those turned out all right. Um, I had fun. I think eventually I'd like to burn some CDs of some playlists that I made. Decorating those could be a lot of fun as well. I think I've gotten pretty good at designing like covers for them. I'll check out my Spotify for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Rock on or whatever. Bye.